I had a dream that the whole world was staring at me. I woke up and wasn't no one there. Wasn't no one there. Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Immortal Gaming. I'm finally back from vacation. Well, my second one. I, I've been away too long. I've missed making YouTube videos. I've missed you guys. I hope you guys miss me. I know you're going to say something about the vlog, but I have a good reason. Um, like, the first week I left, I, like, I went to Nashville. I left my laptop charger. This time, I forgot my uh, camera cord so I could actually charge it. And so, it, I didn't have a battery in my whatchamacallit camera, my GoPro, so I couldn't really record. I mean, I have like 20 seconds, but it wasn't much, and yeah. I was like, well, it's, it's almost pointless, and I was like, and I wasn't really feeling it, because, you know, I was at the beach, and I wanted to really enjoy it, because, you know, I haven't gone in, in like four or five years, so I was really looking forward to it. But yeah, it was a really great week, but now I'm finally back. Now, you guys may have noticed that this is not Black Ops 2. And your minds are probably just blown right now that I actually own another video game. Well, you guys might have seen The Walking Dead Survival Instincts, but that's different. But yes, I actually own another video game, and i was been watching, like, I'm Not Magic, and he's been showing some uh, Battlefield 3 lately, and I was like, I really missed that game, so I plopped it in the old uh, game tray, like this tray, and I started playing, and I really suck, and now I remember why I kind of stopped playing it. But this is so much more fun than Black Ops. If you guys want to play with me, go ahead and hit me up. My gamer tag is Immortal X Saint. I'll put it in the uh, video sometime around here. But yeah, sorry I couldn't show the whole game. It was like 13 minutes, and I don't really have anything to talk about for 13 minutes. So I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and save some time. But yeah, so I want to tell you guys about one of the experiences I had down there. It was actually a rather enjoyable experience, but it was also scary as hell. So, when I was down at the beach with Zach, we decided to rent mopeds because you can uh, rent mopeds for like really cheap. We ended up getting like $75 for like a day. And yeah, so we got the mopeds and we were cruising around, you know, doing our thing. We called ourselves the Honey Honkers because we honked at all the hawk girls. Because chicks dig mopeds. Like, we were probably the baddest people on the strip riding, just cruising. I was wearing a helmet, of course, because, you know, I. Like, I'm not 21, and if I would have got pulled over, it's a $130 ticket. I'm like, uh, F that. So, yeah, I was wearing a helmet, but my, I couldn't, like, feel the wind blowing through my hair. But, you know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention, I need to give Zosh a shout-out. Check out his uh, channel. It's going to be down. His link will be in the description below for actually finding me this background music that I'm using for my video I've been looking for it for so long because I heard it on a video and I was like screw it I need it it's beautiful you guys are probably like well, you probably take you're taking it from Jordan or Coon Productions I'm not taking it I'm just using it because it makes all the commentary sound better but yeah like this story I'm way off topic so yeah we're the honey honkers we were cruising around riding and that night we were gonna go to the show with people that impersonate like singers and stuff like, there was someone that impersonated the Blue Brothers, if you don't know who that is. They're, they're like an old-time band, rock and roll band, like country band, too. And there was also Lady Gaga. She was really good, actually. The, the girl could really sing well. There was Justin Timberlake, and he was spot on. There was Elvis Presley, and then Michael Jackson. And it was really good. But the show was at, like, 9 or something. And so, and it was, like, a little bit further away, like this big plaza type thing. It was actually exactly like two miles and the thing about these mopeds is they didn't go fast like they might have topped out at 35 miles an hour and there are very specific roads that you were supposed to ride on to get there because there was a way that you could take the like you could take a highway or interstate i don't know which one but yeah so we were following his dad to get there because he knew how to get there and we didn't so we like it was later at night it was getting kind of dark and so we were riding there and it started getting dark so like the mopeds have like half headlights and stuff and we tried to turn on the headlights like the high high beams but it did nothing and it was just like the light would shine straight up and like the street signs and stuff and it had nothing to do like there was no effect and if that wasn't bad um zach's dad like took a wrong turn and we were going on all these back roads and stuff and it was kind of curvy and stuff there were some like potholes it's really dangerous on the mopeds but that's not even the bad part the worst part was we got on the interstate like 
there are cars flying by at 70 miles an hour, and it's just me and Zack just hanging back there on our mopeds, like giving it everything we got, and his dad's just pulling away, and like he gets in the middle lane, and we're like, there's no way in hell we can get in that middle lane because we will be smeared. But yeah, so it was really scary. His dad started leaving us. We didn't know what to do. I slowed down, waited for Zach, because we were both terrified at the time, because it was just getting completely pitch black. And we were just riding, and then finally we see his dad turn into the, into the plaza, and we turn in, and like we park our little mopeds, and we're like, okay, we made it back safely. And then we go in, we watch the show. We then realize that since we rode them here, we have to ride them back. And so we were like really nervous for this because like we were looking for the road that we're actually supposed to go down but yeah so we get back on our mopeds like it's this is about 11 11 30 and we're just riding fortunately we actually find the right route and we only have to get on the interstate for like 20 feet and then turn right so it worked pretty worked out pretty well for us we didn't almost die that time and yeah so we just ended up getting back to our hotels and we parked them parked the old bikes and stuff and yeah, it was really good. I mean, oh, and then I'll, t I go, I'll go ahead and finish out the story because I still got like a minute or so, or two minutes, but whatever. But yeah, so the show was really good and all that stuff. And then the next day, we got up, we went down to the beach, and then we decided to ride around because we had to take the mopeds back at five. So we went cruising. You know, we were just hanging out, honking at the honeys again because we're the players, obviously. And I just get all the hoes because have you seen me? You haven't seen me. But yeah, so I was just sitting around, we were just cruising, and then we had to go get gas for him because you had to fill him up, but luckily it was only like $2 to fill him up. And then we take, we went back to get the, uh, to like, return him, and as soon as I pull in, the guy that we rented him from, he walks out and he's like, dude, did you wreck this? And I was like, no, what the hell are you talking about? And he's like, dude, this is broken. And he started hassling me about it, and it started pissing me off. And yeah, so basically it was just back and forth. The guy was telling me I wrecked it. I was telling him I didn't wreck him. I was telling him to go shut up. And yeah, it was just, it was not a good experience at all. But you know what, guys? It was great. I got another story for you guys. And it's a really good one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this commentary here. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, guys, peace. Vodka with a 